Alright, so one of the first things that I always build uh, when I establish a base camp, whether I be using a tarp hammock setup or whatever, um, is I always build a tripod. The versatility and the usefulness of a tripod uh, is just one of those tools that you need to know how to do. One of those things you need to know how to craft. If you're going to spend any time in the woods uh, knowing how to build a tripod um, and being able to use that tripod is a great resource. Um, you can use this for stringing up wildlife. You can use this for um, building shelters. You can use it for everything. Uh, there's not anything that you... Uh, I mean, there's, there's just tons of ways and things that you can use this uh, tripod for. So what I have done, because I want this to be a permanent base camp, is I have collected three larger pines. They're uh, about three inches in diameter. And they are roughly, um, I stepped off about nine foot long. So I'm gonna go through and all of these little sticks and things like that that are broken off, I'm gonna snap them down and make them a little smoother. And then I'll adjust the camera um, to show you the lashing. So hang on, I'll be right back with you. Okay, so as you can see, I have my three logs that I'm going to be using here um, setting right here on my bench that I built um, all beside each other and this really just makes it much easier to lash them. We got them elevated um, and just gives me more room to work on what I am working on. So now I have this uh, this new kind of bank line that's new to me at least uh, Procat. It is a tarred bank line. It is a number number 48 and so its tinsel strength is 430 pounds I picked that up at uh, Academy so one of the first things that I do is I will get the start of my bank line they uh, melted that stuff on there I guess you gotta be rocket science to get started all right and I'm gonna cut me a good I'm probably going to go with about 10 foot. Tar seems to be pretty good on this. So what I do is, I simply just do a simple knot, overhand type knot, something to create my loop in the end. Okay? Just something simple. Put that around my first log, bring the whole rest of it around. Okay, and I want to line it up to where it goes over top of the next pole. So I'm going over this one, under this one, and then come around the third one, and go under the middle, and back over the first one. Okay, and do this a couple times. We go under the first one, we wrap around it, over the center, and around the back one. Then after I've done that, look, uh, we're around it, uh, looks like at least two times. Then I come through the center section in between uh, log number two and log number three, and we're going to wrap it around that middle part kind of filling up that gap tightening stuff up we're gonna do this a couple times till we got that gap nice and tight so what we're doing is we're really taking out all the slack that would be in the rope between those two poles okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to over the middle one and go in between log number two and the very first log okay and we're going to take up the slack in between them This one has a bigger gap, 
between it because of the bow, bow, uh, a bow and the pole. So we're gonna have to wrap it a few more times than we did on the other one. You wanna pull this tight the whole time that you are working on this. You wanna keep tension on it. That's looking pretty good. So then what I like to do is I'll wrap around pull number one again. And go under pull number two. Cinch that down. And this is more than anything just taking up your excess, but also creating something sturdy for your uh, area to hang your pot. That same rope that I went around Number one, I go back with the tag end that I went under number two. So really, I've just created a bit of a loop and then I'll tie that off because I want my rope to end up close to the center of my tripod. Once I get this tied off, I will show you what that looks like. And I am going to double knot it. Just a double overhand. All right, so take a look here. Here's where we went two times, three times, and then two times, but then we went back around and we tied our knot here so that our rope was closer to the center that's left over. Right here is where we did the loop around and right here we did the loop around to really just take up that gap and make that rope tighter between the two. So let me uh, get this set up and uh, I, will, I will show you how I set it up and I'll be right back with you. Alright so when you're setting this up you want to stand up your poles Pick your center one out and spread your other two. And take a little finagling, figure out where you want it. Okay? And you want this thing to be pretty good and sturdy. If you don't feel like it's sturdy enough, you can always take these poles and wrap them around one another. But this is a pretty sturdy tripod. I am uh, very capable of holding myself up on this. I'm confident of that. So that's what we're going with. So I want to spread them out evenly so weight is well dispersed. And you see, I'm standing in the middle here. And this is already after it's down a little to, uh, to fix uh, you know the legs out so um, again this is a good nine ten foot section that I did uh, so the reason why I left this uh, string dangling uh, I'll adjust the camera and show you in just a moment all right guys so what I chose to do simply because no other reason other than this is a long-term base camp is that I have a length of chain that I took a hook that I got in I think a six pack at the 99 cent store and I bent it around on itself. That way I can tie this rope where I see fit to hold this chain. And I'm going to do a little, uh, little wrapping around here just to hold it in place a little better. Cut the nuts. Get this cleaned up a little. 
two overhands with the jam knot. Again, this being number 46 or whatever it was, it's not going anywhere. Then I can put my pot here, but I can use my rope to adjust if need be. I can raise it up here, go over top of a log or whatever I need to, to adjust the height. Or I can simply use this excess as a, uh, like a trammel. I can pull this up and stick a toggle in there. And I've uh, increased my, my length and all that, or my height, or changed my height. So um, I just wanted to show you that because this is a long-term base camp. Um, also, I want to uh, make sure that when I'm doing this to adjust my tripod so that my hook and my rope and all that lines up to the center of where I want it. And I can do that simply by just adjusting which tree it is around, which, uh, which ridge, which pole, to get it somewhat centered. So that's what we're, we're going with there. So that way it puts it right in the center of where I want it. And I also am gonna clear this area out from debris and uh, make a little bit of a fire ring with some rocks. So uh, I'll show you that a little bit later. So just wanted to show you this building a permanent base camp. Um, tripod is one of those great resources um, that you need uh, great tools or, or you know things that you need to know how to construct, especially in bushcraft. Some simple basic lashings. It doesn't have to be anything over intricate or fancy. You just want it to be able to do the job, not fall down on you, last a long time if you're going to put forth the material, the effort, the resources, and uh, build yourself a, uh, a tripod. On another note, because I'm in a uh, high pine area, um, all of these little sticks that I cut off of these, uh, these um, dead standing was fat wood, every bit of it. So uh, in the process of building this, I was able to collect a fire resource. So just pay attention to those things. Uh, Alright guys, thanks for watching. God bless.